time to progressively warm up the body with a six minute dynamic warm up. We're gonna have six warm up exercises, each for one minute a piece. So we're gonna start stationary with an alternating T spine rotation. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna hinge at your hips, keep your core tight, opening up one arm at a time, and you're gonna follow your fingertips with your eyes. From there, we're gonna come into an upright position for knees to elbows, fingertips by the ears, elbows nice and wide, but our core is tight and engaged, driving the knee up to meet the opposite elbow, slow and controlled. From there, we're gonna take it to a standing star reach. So your arms are nice and wide and your feet are nice and wide. You're gonna drive your hips back as you reach your fingertips over to the toes. Again, keeping that core tight and your chest nice and tall. Progressing from here, we're gonna take it to toy soldiers. So your arms are Frankenstein out and you're kicking your toes up towards your fingertips. You wanna kick as high as you can without crunching forward. Stay nice and tall and upright. From there, even more dynamic, we're gonna move into mimicking a jump rope. So you're light on your feet, you're alternating side to side, and you're bringing your arms into the equation. We're gonna finish the warm up with our most dynamic move yet, the power skip. So you're gonna drive the knee and the opposite arm up as you explode off the ground and get that body ready for our next block. All right, Didi, we ready to warm up? Ready. Let's do it. I'm fighting for what I'm working towards 
block is for the chest and the core. You'll need a mat and a towel and one medium weight object. We're going to have three exercises, eight reps apiece, eight minutes to do it, repeat until time. Our first exercise is the hollow hold, single arm, close grip chest press. So we lie back, elevate the heels off the floor, shoulders are elevated, neutral grip with the object, press it up, bring it right back down again. Eight on one side, eight on the other, option, feet are flat, knees are bent, shoulders stay up. Exercise number two, hip bridge pullover. So knees are bent, feet are flat, drive the hips up. Grab your object, bring it over the top of the head, stretching through the lats, keeping the arms straight, and pull it right back over the top of the chest. We can remove the bridge for the option or reduce our range of motion. And our third exercise is palm to elbow. So we get into a high plank position, shoulder over elbow, elbow over wrist. This one will be eight reps total, four on each side. Come down to the forearms, pop back up on the palms, alternate each side. The option, we do that one from our knees. Let's get to work.
right, fam, I have a solid cardio block coming up for you right now. For those of you that love seeing your coaches sweating in your door just the same way you have, Coach Didi is going to do the same thing. So we're going to start it off with a squat jack going into a burpee right into a triple plank jack. So we're going to start with that squat jack. We're going to bring our hands down to the ground, kick both feet back, spread both feet wide at the same time. We're going to perform three plank jacks and then come right back into the squat jack. Option, hands come down. We're going to walk it back for the burpee, step out one leg at a time for the plank jack, and then come right into a calf raise. Your second interval, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to be a squat jack to a burpee, but we're only going to do one plank jack, and then we'll simply come right back up. Your third interval, we're going to peel off the plank jack altogether. So simply going to be squat jack going right into that burpee. And for the fourth and final one, it is just a squat jack by itself. You're going to squat down low, jump up. Make sure to keep that core engaged the entire time. Earn that burn. Let's go for it.
This block is focused on back and shoulders. You have a minimum of two rounds at eight minutes long. You are going to need two objects. The first exercise will last for 10 reps. You're going to do a plank low row. So Joe's going to get into a plank position, neutral spine, pull that object into his chest, and then release it back to the floor. You're alternating each side at 10 reps. Option, drop to your knees, performing the same thing. The next exercise is going to be a back extension with a lateral pull. So now you're going to get into a back extension, pulling those arms all the way up, lifting the chest off of the floor, and then returning back into that starting set position. Your option here is to limit your range of motion. You have 10 reps to complete. The next exercise is going to be a single arm knee tuck to bird dog press. This is going to be at six reps. Joe is going to reach out one arm, one leg, squeezing the core, elbow right to that knee. His option here is also to limit that range of motion. The final exercise in this block is going to be swimmers. This is going to be at 20 reps. You're going to lay in a lying position and then take one arm and one leg opposite of each other, squeezing the glutes and that lower back. How does those shoulders feel, Joe? Excellent. Awesome. Once again, you have a total of eight minutes at two rounds to complete.
Orange Nation, it is time to crush that core. Are you ready, Felix? Let's do it. We know you're ready also. We have three exercises, 30 seconds a piece, no break in between. We're going back to back to back. Our first exercise will be the static crunch to figure eight. So grab a light object, sit down. You're gonna alternate pulling one knee in, keeping the heels off the floor and passing that object on the inside of the leg underneath the knee. Option for that, you can heel tap in between. No break, we go right into the seated torso rotation. Take that light object, keep your chest up nice and proud, shoulders back, heels on the ground, rotate to one side, keeping the core nice and tight, and rotating to the other. Our third exercise, again, no break in between, is the lateral bear crawl. So we get into a tabletop position on our toes, knees are hovering over the ground, we step three steps to one side and then three steps to the other side. Option for this, we can reduce our range of motion. Now you've earned that 15 second break. We're gonna go right back to the top and go through that three rounds through. It's tough, but we know you can do it. Let's get busy. In your shooting gallery, but you can't see my face.
we worked our sympathetic nervous system throughout the workout as we elevated our heart rate. Now it's time to upregulate our parasympathetic nervous system to bring our heart rate back down and to cool off our bodies. We have four stretches coming at you, 20 seconds on each side. Ready, Ange? Ready. All right, our first stretch is going to be Cobra. We're gonna lie face down on our comfy mat or towel, bringing our hands directly at the sides of our chest as we lift our chest up off the ground till our range of motion allows, really stretching out that core. 20 seconds holding here. From there, we're gonna go into child's pose where we're gonna bring our big toes together, pull our knees out a little bit wider than hip width apart, let our torso sink between the knees as we extend our arms, relaxing our head. Holding this for 20 seconds, our third stretch is going to be an angled child's pose where we shift our hands a little bit to the right, feeling that nice deep pull and stretch along our side, and then switching it to the other side for 20 seconds. Our fourth stretch is going to be our seated toe reach, sitting up nice and tall on our sit bones as our legs are extended, feet are flexed, and just keeping her back nice and flat as she extends her arms straight out in front of her, hinging at her hips until her range of motion allows, slowly lowering her hands down once she feels that stretch in her hamstrings and her calves. Let's start getting that body cooled down.